Okay, so what we have here is a Sony uh, TR86. This was one of Sony's first transistor radios, uh, made in the late 50s. Uh, it's actually, this is actually a pretty uh, expensive radio in its day. Uh, it was, this one, I believe, was uh, actually uh, distributed by Delmonico here in the US. Uh, obviously, I think Sony also brought them in directly. Just take it out of its case. Uh, it has a flip up handle. If I just zoom back, you'll see this is the handle. It flips up. Uh, what can I tell you about it? It does have a couple of issues. Uh, I actually have a nicer one than this, but this one, I don't know if you can see just here, there's a little crack on the dial. Uh, a little bit of foxing around here where it actually, oops, sorry, foxing around here where it actually screws in. Uh, a little bit missing here, and a little bit just here as well. In terms of, it's not, no, I'm not sure it's a crack as much as the paint's missing. It's actually reverse painted on this dial. Oh, uh, there is one other issue. Uh, well, there's a couple of issues, but uh, issues in terms of cosmetics. Let me see, I'm trying to find it. Here it is. In this corner, just here, there's actually a piece missing. Let's see if I can get a better shot of that. There, there's a piece missing. Uh, what else? The grill. The grill's okay, uh, apart from there's a little uh, bit of a skirmish here, or, or just before the Sony starts. And in the dial, the dial, if you actually look at a really good one, uh, there's no foxing. I've actually seen like three or four of these where these, these actually start foxing through here, so you might want to repaint this or just clean it up a bit. I think the whole of this front comes off, so that's the way to do that. Uh, in terms of whether it works, it does actually work, which is uh, quite good for a 50s radio. Let's just actually switch it on. Actually, when I actually got... I wouldn't normally leave the batteries in, but I put one in just to check it out earlier. If we actually just tune through... You can see, it. let's just stop on a station. As you can see, it's quite good reception. Try and find some music. When you lend your own All that one. Just talk, talk right know your product so well. A lot of times if it's gonna save the client a lot of money and they just barely didn't have one. So unlike most radios of this era, it actually has good volume still. Uh, the capacitors actually seem pretty decent. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, the actual handle itself, I don't know if you can see on the handle, but there's a little bit missing from it. Uh, in terms of the gold, so again, probably if you were trying to restore it, I'd actually uh, probably get some more gold on there. Uh, oh, I should really probably take the back off so we can see inside. Wait one second, I'm just going to put the camera down. So inside, you can see it's, it's relatively clean, I won't call it perfect. There's a battery which I'll take out, uh, you don't want to have your battery leaking on the way to you. Uh, this isn't actually, this This is not snapped, it's actually just not held in tight on this edge. Uh, and that's about it, let's see, as I say the case matches, uh, you can see it's got a nice half moon. And uh, that's about it, the colour is obviously black, I believe they came in other colours, green and uh, there's a kind of a ivory. Uh, but this would be a good start if you're starting to collect transistor radios, at least if you're trying to get in the mid, mid to late 50s. And I shall stop there.